Then the scriptures say, blessed be all the peacemakers. See? Blessed, blessed. Are the peacemakers. Wait a minute, what did it say again? That's a match. Yeah. Blessed are the peacemakers. I ain't never been a, 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 a troublemaker my whole life, man. I ain't never went out and looked for trouble, man. I got caught up like a, a fucking idiot around fools that were looking for trouble. Like, I, you know? The scriptures say it's a time for everything. It's like back in the time with uh, Martin Luther King and uh, yeah, <laughs> King and Malcolm X. There wasn't no time for peace. Back in that time, it was time for our people to stand. That's right. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. We all born, we all will, we all die. That's the time we born will. That's the kingdom come before that, but that's life. That's right. what happened in life. Right. Most high sanction of death, you out here. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. No you know? doctor or nothing can say. <laughs> <laughs> no miracle drug. <laughs> ain't nothing they can do, man. Ain't time to die. Oh, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. That's how the Bible says it's gonna be a time to kill and then a time to heal. Right now we're trying to we're trying to we're healing our people right now with this word. Um, a time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn. So a time to mourn. It ain't a time of laughing. It ain't a good time right now for a people. This ain't a, this ain't a laughing matter right now. And a time to dance. <laughs> no, that ain't no time. Break dancing. That's scriptural. <laughs> Right, it made a spirit. You know, what's the Coonan dance? There's oh, a new Coonan dance they doing. It's the backpack. Oh. Like the backpack. I know they got the do the retard. You seen that shit? You ain't seen the do the retard? <laughs> retard shit is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> nah. What did they say? Something about, I forgot how that goes. And they but... got it down packed, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They got it packed, man, like they are retarded. Right. <laughs> Just Google do the retard dance. <laughs> hey, that girl look kind of good when she got a body that did. That video that put that put up, man. Oh, oh yeah. Time. A time brother. to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and like right now, a time to lose, man. Ain't no time to be gaining and holding on to possessions. Why like you gonna take it to the kingdom of heaven with you, man? You know what I'm saying? And you gotta be clever about it. If you gotta ride, don't be a fool and get rid of your ride and be on the bus line. <laughs> you know, you sell everything. You sell all your clothes. <laughs> so, you like got me a five dollar like deal. K, cash that shit out right now. You know, cash it Hold out. Hold on, let's see if I got some cash. Anyway. What you got there? Oh, some tie? <laughs> How much the tie going for? I got, I got a piece of it. Six bucks a piece. It costs fifteen each. Right, give me a second. Right, hold on a second. Yeah, okay. Damn, I don't know if I got no chance. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. I got it. Yeah, let me get three for five then. Yeah, yeah. The other side of the road. That definitely was bound to get knocked out, man. That's literal, man. That's literal. That's quick. That's scripture. That's literal. Oh. A time to love and a time to hate. Brother, the Bible said it's a time to love and it's a time to hate. People all right, are like, oh, you can't hate. Read that, read that again. It's a time to what? A time to love. A time to love and a time to hate. And a time to hate. You got you got to have both. How you just, this just like the Quran. It's all love. It's all love. You got to have hate in the Bible. You got to have hate. You got to have a balance. You got to have a balance. It can't be all love like a Disney movie. A time of war and yeah. a time of peace. We're not in the time of peace right now. Yeah, war. Yeah, we live in an age where nuclear weapons exist. <laughs> What's up, Esau? Hey, man. I was talking about that thing that happened last week, though. Somebody comes up acting like that again. We can't feed it to that, but I, I'm guilty of that. You know what I mean? Because I was talking shit back, saying I'm going to do something to you. And... Yeah, you need to. 
you can't be doing, talking like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, we we was throwing fire, fire with fire. Yeah. We got to throw water on that fire. I, mean, we started to have to I, mean, I know it's not our fault, but yeah. I didn't like the way I acted. You know what I mean? I mean, we still curse him out in the spirit, though. But I shouldn't have been saying I'm going to do something back. You know what I mean? So. It's cool, man. It, it is. It, what it it is. He was threatening to kill us. I'm going to send this to you. Give me a minute. Right there. Yeah, it's all good, though. Because the thing is, so. man, we, we out here, we also learn from our mistakes. Yeah, man, yeah. The stupid shit we do, man. Yeah. But we correct ourselves. That's the difference between a man and the Lord and a nigga in the world. That shit's been on. A man and the Lord will correct themselves. It's been on my mind all week, man. I'm like, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, because we. Cause I just, that that, that oh, karma shit, man. Yeah. You know? But like I said, the Lord knows about a mistake and he yeah. don't punish you for it. But he'll let you think about it, right? I still think. I've been thinking about it all week. That, I'm like, I wish I didn't say that. Like, I mean, it, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, most of the thing is, most high had to say what we said. Yeah. Right, right. Yep. Cause we got we had to let that nigga know that piece of shit know, man. We ain't nobody know ain't no punks up here. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we it's a family, man. We got to show love for the family because we can't bring no blood on the family. Right. Blood on the family. Like, if I, we instigate some shit. What if I start a fight and one of y'all get hurt? I'm right. be some bad as fuck. Today is yeah. my lucky day. Yeah. It's all good, though. Day. I'm gonna hold that shit in this You'll never guess what I just found on the ground. What'd you find? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen Jake losing no weed. Look, <laughs> and that's... Maybe it's a little bit straight lace or something. No, I can't. <laughs> It's uh, we got the loud. First Peter, first Peter, first Peter two and twenty two. They said, "Don't start uh, start twenty one." <laughs> Don't start uh, free. Yeah, they didn't know they dropped that. Yeah. Yeah. So for what I glory is it? Uh, it says, "For even a hero two, where you fall, because y'all shall also suffer for us, leaving us an example that ye shall follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again." When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged righteously. Yeah, he did. Like the Lord, right? There was no gal in him. And like, even you can see it, Stephen followed the, the the same steps of the Lord, right? When the Lord got crucified, he didn't fight back. Then people were like, oh, the Lord is a bitch. You know what I mean? That's what they try to say. But, go ahead. You got it. Okay. The uh, Lord said, uh, you know, uh, what do you say? Precious in the sight of the Lord is the definite saints. The Lord loves, matter of fact, let me read up a little bit more on 1 Peter 2 and 20. The Lord loves for an innocent, he loves seeing an innocent man, you know, in a way, getting uh, judged, condemned for something he didn't do. Like the outshot, he, he did nothing wrong, but they still, you know what I'm saying, it's a little bit of revenge, we're going to get revenge, they outshot for that. It's uh, 1 Peter 2 and 20. But what glory is it if when you be buffeted for your faults, you shall take it patiently? So if you did something wrong and you get punished for it, what glory? What, I can't glory in that, like, yeah, I'm getting punished for what I did. Because you know, you did, what you did was wrong. But it says, if when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently, this is acceptable of God. So if you did nothing wrong, and somebody come and try to, you know, kill you, like, like what we're doing right now, doing the work of the Lord, somebody try to come and kill you, like, like as if you're innocent, I mean, uh, as if you're uh, guilty for something, that's uh, beautiful in the sight of the Lord. That's right. That's it's right. better than dying of old age. It's so it's a glorious death. Old and old and broke. Old and oppressed. See, I got off the bus and I thought it was a cigarette. <laughs> I just walked back and I picked it up and I smoked it. I was like, oh shit. I hope we don't bug you out. Yeah, we could have put some good shit. <laughs> put some other shit in there. Young and young. If it is, I'll go Pay some sit shit and old and broke. <laughs> he got his wish. He got his wish, man. Yeah. You better be careful on what the fuck the shit you say, man. Well, I was thinking about that story with Stephen in Acts the seventh chapter. They were stoning him to death. You know what he said? He prayed for him. That's crazy. You know, when you do that, you're like, that's crazy. How could you pray somebody that's about to kill you? You know what I mean? But that's what he did. Because really, because just like the Lord said, uh, what, forgive them for they know not what they do? Because they really don't know. Paul was, Paul was right there. He was about, you know, Paul was uh, right, uh, what's his name? Stephen's death. Hey, at that time he was killing brothers and shit like that, so we all had to forget Paul. You know, another, there might be some other brothers up in there missing stone people. You, yeah, you never know who's gonna come into the truth. Like you said, Paul was killing people. He actually, yeah. he wasn't like the guy last week. He actually followed through on his words. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then the Lord actually, you know, <laughs> brought him hey, man, into these the fold. These are stupid, man. You never know what these. Animals well, you really are don't. Too, you know what I'm saying? That's what you gotta watch these guys, man. 
They animals, man. Just like yesterday, like I was talking about. It was those six motherfuckers that got shot, three died yesterday. Damn. Three motherfuckers, man. I got it right here on the tablet, too. I'm going to get it in a minute. They going for the record? <laughs> yeah. That's what they trying to, man. They is going for the Columbus murder record, ain't they? Yeah, I think they already beat it. Did they? Yeah. And they said it was like number 20 or something, man. This is it. Go ahead. No, it's a story. I see the little, you know, little newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people going to find shit. It's like manslaughter, 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 manslaughter. You know what I'm talking about? We tell you what everybody does. Crime busted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ezekiel 3 and 4. He says he sent it to, and he sent it to me. Son of man, go get thee into the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of strange speech and of hard language, but to the house of Israel. All right, because we all speak the same language. And they get mad when we talk to talk to everybody else talk. If we say shit, fuck, or whatever, they get mad, but... We, they do it when they ask. We, they do it all day. Oh, yeah. That's just how we talk. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, the English language. It's, just, it's a filthy language. Let's just be real with it. Hey, can somebody loan me 10 now? I got a 20. That's all I got. Yeah. But you can that detergent? Yeah, real you. I was thinking about getting detergent, but <laughs> kind of showed on cash. <laughs> Not so many people of strange speech in a hard language whose words thou cannot understand. So that's how that fucking uh, the rich white people, the elite, that's how they talk, man. They talk like that. They use all them uppity words to try to... Uh, they speak, yeah, they speak an English that you can't understand. Yeah, they be saying words right there. They got the whole dictionary memorized. <laughs> right. Dang. Got them now? <laughs> right. That tie's expensive, man. Yeah, yeah. They got $13 each. $13 each. That's why the white man, he always trick you. Like, you don't even know what you're doing. You just go for it. You just sign shit. You don't even know what you're signing because you don't even know what Just like they take Swerthy out. Two thirds of Israel don't know what the fuck Swerthy is and they ain't going to look it up. People, oh, they got swag or something. That's a good point, because that's how the devil gets you is with these contracts. Where they say you got to read the fine print. Yeah. And you got to know the meaning of words. You know, they got a thing in the court system, a motto. It's even in the Black Law Dictionary. It says, uh, the spirit of the law is the meaning of words. Damn. So, and I've been in the courthouse. You know how you waiting on your trial to come yeah. up, and you got to sit through a trial? And I'm, I'm sitting here listening to the judge and the attorneys debate the meaning of words. You know what I mean? And they're in there actually debating the meaning of words. So whether this guy's going to get off or not all depends on the definition of a word. You know what I mean? That's real. So like you said, you know, but we're not sent to a people of strange speech. we sent to Israel. They can understand us very well. Okay. Ain't nothing lost in translation. We speak in your language. We on your level. That's like uh, Paul said, though I be rude in speech, not knowledge. Yeah, I was going to say another way to prep for people, man, just like, you go to court, you ask for a fast and speedy trial. You feel that's like they got 30 days. Yep. This is how they trick you. They be like, well, uh, we can just go continue it. Just come back next month. So, you know, you you hear that, you just ready to get the fuck up out of there. But they don't tell you once you sign that motherfucker, you cancel your fucking fast and speedy, but they don't tell you that until after you sign the shit. They're like, well, you know, you, uh... You, uh, this cancels out the fast and speedy because you signed this, but they don't tell you that up up, up front. That's devil. That's the devil for you, that's man. That's devil. And that's why all the all the uh, oh, we gotta get back to that. But uh, that's why almost what well, probably I guarantee you at least ninety percent of cases are settled or uh, a plea bargain. Yeah. yeah, that's what it's not uh, ninety percent. Ninety percent is uh, plea bargain. So that's not even justice. Not, you don't even get a trial. <laughs> you, don't. you know what I mean? <laughs> They don't want to go to trial because it costs too much money. It costs too much. Y'all, yeah, the courts, it costs them too much money. Yeah. So a lot of times when you fight shit, they, that's when they start working with you because they got a stack of cases this high they got to go through, and they don't want to be there all day. Just as Isaiah 10 and 1, Go unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have not prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the father. Oh, widows may, that describes the church to the T, don't it? Because, you know, a lot of, uh... It states in the law that they're not allowed to give you a deal. When they 
how much you put that pin, we go to court, oh, if you been offered anything in this yeah. side or another, everybody says no. But here's the crazy part. If you go in there and say yes, they said if I take this deal, they're going to give me probation. Oh, boy, okay. They just made a deal with me. They do ask you that, don't they? They say, did anybody ask you against you or whatever? They ask like, you. They didn't ask me against my will. He asked me, he said, if we, if we take this deal. Not against my will, but he did ask me. Did he can say, did anybody make a deal with you or everything? That's crazy, ain't it? When the law states, I'm not allowed to do that. Yeah, because the Constitution, just like you said, it said you're supposed to have an expedient trial. Gotcha, You're looking, man. You're looking, man. Yeah. But you know, now they lock you up. Okay. Like you say, you take that one continuance. You got my number, right? Then they, I see I brothers get locked up for like six months before they even got I'll to a trial. I'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, because for real, for real, they got you locked up. You're not even found guilty or nothing. You feel me? So therefore, that's, that's it, I guess, the, uh, the law. You feel me? Because you, you're, not, you're, not, you're not convicted of anything. You're holding it against my will. Yep. You, you're sitting about oh, six, seven, eight months, and then on top of that, they they, they keep continuing your court date. So you didn't did about seven months before you even got to your uh, got any justice. And then they go, like, oh, it's five, six years. God damn, that's how they do you. But if, but if Esau, these rich white people go up in the courtroom, what happens to them? Nothing. They they can go to court on the telephone. Yeah. They can call in. Like I seen Charlie Sheen yeah. got in trouble. He was he went to court on the phone. Where they, you know what I mean? Yeah, they don't do no time. Hold up, that's um, scriptural too. Hold up, where's that? Is it one in Isaiah 54 or something? Somewhere in 50 or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. No justice. I got first. Uh, Isaiah 50, 59, and uh, 13. That's a lot. 13, it says, in judgment. Oh. It says, judgment is turned away backward and justice stand to fall off. The truth is falling in the street and equity cannot enter. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departed from the hour, like, he that parted from evil, making for himself a prey, and the hour saw it and, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. So you see, there's no judgment. I wish somebody go to, uh, Somebody kills oh like little like these rich ass white people they go they go rape a little kid or something kill somebody they get like what two years two bullshit some people don't even go to jail no justice or somebody go kill somebody they get what life that's not that's not that's not justice neither that person's supposed to die you know what I'm saying it says life for life two for two hand for hand not for this world life in prison who the fuck wants to do life in prison I'd rather die but they gotta that's make money off you though yeah yeah. They gotta make money, cause you, that's just free slave labor. Cause a lot of them prisons are owned by corporations. Well, nigga, they call it institutionalized. They don't care. Nigga don't give a shit. Don't they call the public schools the institution? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Psalm starts 73 and 1. Oh, this Truly, one I was thinking about too. The Most High is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. I was thinking about this. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. That's, a good, that's kind of different. My steps had run For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, and but their strength is firm. There are not; they are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. And those other men are the Israelites. So y'all people ain't plagued like that. You know, y'all good, man. Y'all know what oppression is. Goddamn devils. You can just tell those guys are Edomites. Right. They got a totally different spirit than everybody out here. Right. See, we know what it's like to have our lights, gas, water turned off. Right. You know, we know what it's like to have the struggle to buy your children clothes. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't know shit like that. Clothes ain't cheap. Right. right. I get most of my shit from the thrift store. See, you know, these little bastards growing up now, they want Air Jordans, man. Those motherfuckers for kids is expensive, man. I just what? found, hey, I just found two pairs of Jordans in the thrift store, $15 a piece. Oh, man. It was like brand that's new a for my son. That's a hookup, bro. That was a, that was Laura's looking out for us. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're, like you say, your children is. want the good shit. You yeah. know? Right, right. <laughs> but like I said, man, they ain't in trouble like us, man. Wait a minute. First of all, it says a little bit up. It said, they're, but their strength is firm. That's why we're talking about the judicial system. There's nothing in our power to change it, man. Nothing, man. Yes, sir. Right. But you, all you come out here is sigh and cry. <laughs> that's all you can do. That's all we're supposed to do. 
Yeah. You always hear uh, motherfuckers protest about justice, justice, justice. Justice. Ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be no justice until Yahweh Shah come, man. There's no organization that you can set up that's gonna last, man. Only way is this, only thing that's gonna last is this word, man. Right, you like you got these fools protesting, people getting shot, but they get amazed every time a cop gets acquitted. Like that was so shocking. Yeah. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think right. was gonna happen? <laughs> right, like the history, and they really be shocked. <laughs> Being an uproar. Y'all seen the video though? That was just released. That yeah, but he shot that white guy. <laughs> the the dude that was begging. He's begging oh, for his life. Don't kill me, please don't kill me. Had his hands up, please don't kill me. Took him out any fucking way, and his cop got off. Got off, man. Did he? Yeah, he got off. <laughs> That's when the video was released, when he got off. So what if somebody like reaches in their pocket around us, we just blow him away? Right. You're right. going to get life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could be like, he, I thought he was pulling a gun out of his pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you're going to go to jail. Yeah. Like it says, they are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. They, ain't, they don't have these curses that we have in us, man. They live in the good life. You know, all, all of them curses, our lives is always at, been threatened, man. They love you know, waking up going to their job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they telling you what the fuck to do. Right. Nigga, pick that shit up. Nigga, wipe that, mop that floor, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they only stay say nigga in so many words. So. Right. <laughs> 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 right, right. That's some funny shit, though. But the thing is, these curses, hey, lamentation, man. When it, uh, uh, What is it? Uh, the daughter of the, uh, uh, punishment is accomplished, or uh, I can't. Anyway, yeah, I, can't yeah. I know what you're talking about. I ain't trying to portray. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covers them as a garment. Oh, look at it. Said the violence covers them as a uh, garment, man. Look at they. Just look at what the so-called white man been doing since he since he was a, since he was like what a teenager or something. He saw he was a teenager. No, the scripture says as soon as they be born, yeah, they speak lies. Yeah, yep. <laughs> as soon as they be born, man. So he saw was already a liar. Mm. Spirit came. Spirit came. Because you see their children, man. Their children be like torturing cats. Oh, man. you know what I mean? Torturing animals. Man, I was reading. Sodomizing other little children. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, this senator's bastard ass sons walked. They was going to the ATM. Homeless motherfucker in their sleep. Homeless woman in their sleep. Get out the way, you piece of trash! They caught her, caught her, kicking her, and all this and that. And she said, leave, "Just leave me alone. It's cold out there. I'm trying to rest." They kicked her. They went outside, got trash, and they left the bitch on fire, man. And they got off. Mm. Who did that? A uh, senator's chitlins, uh, bastard ass sons. That's fucked up. That's some evil shit right Courts there. Courts never touched them. No court. No court. It was just one movie, man. They killed all the, uh, it was like from kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade. When you make it to 12th grade, you can live life, but you got to take the test. And if you don't pass, you get killed. And it goes from preschool all the way up. It's Damn. a good movie because the senator, the senator uh, son was in this part of the shit. So uh, the senator, he was like, you know what you got to do, got to let my son go. <laughs> so I did in the movie, his son got killed, got put to death because it was either that or he's going to lose his job. That's crazy. So he's like, fuck it. That's crazy. <laughs> Kill him. Oh. <laughs> Just like, uh, That's a good movie. but you got the same senators, though. You got all kind of senators coming out with the allegations. They, well, they got pictures like Al Franken and grabbing bitches, titties while she's yeah. sleeping. And, I mean. But what's it, he doing? Uh, honestly. I mean, well. <laughs> you really should be. He's a senator. He's, he claims to be this perfect fucking human being. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. They, they claim like they're fucking blameless and fucking. But Innocent. you know, but you know, he's really raping bitches, raping boys. You got that Pizza Gate shit, right? That that picture of Al Franken. That's the least of your worries. But that was some little proof they actually had on him. He was doing some weird shit, right? They're trying to, you know, being a sexual deviant. Thank you. You know she was. They all down, man. That's why the shit coming out now. They using it against them. That's got money, you know. Using it against them now. Man. Just like that nasty bitch, Monica Lewinsky, when she was blowing Bill Pitt. She didn't come out complaining about it. It was a while later. She, uh, she kept her the dress with the nut on it. Yeah. Oh. 
you know. But she sold it. That. Right, right. <laughs> she knows it's going to be worth some money. And it didn't come out right away. It came out later because yeah. for some reason, at least we're mad paid. at Bill Clinton, man. She was getting paid. You're right. They were just mad at him for something. He apologized for whatever he did. He probably, he probably let one of the raw childs dump a load on him, man. You know you know how they like sh people shitting on him. You know? Them Edomites like the shit, man. They like people shitting on them for some reason, man. That's he's an Edomite for your ass. He's a profane man. person. Yeah, profane. That's a profane motherfucker. They like people shitting on them and pissing on them, man. Shit and pissing. What the fuck? Job 12 and 6. You got more? Yeah, I got a lot more of this, man. This is all about this goddamn devil. Man. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. So that's just like we just talked about earlier today, man. Here is the fucking devil make you pay the park, man. But it should be free. <laughs> Come on, oh, pay the fucking shit. park, man. And then you, 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 it expires, they're gonna put a ticket on that bitch. Get some more money. Yeah, get some more. Could you imagine that back in the Wild West? <laughs> like, like, oh, if you wanna ride that horse, you need a license. If you wanna tie him up to the parking spot, you gotta pay. <laughs> That's crazy. Man. If you wanna. Got shot back then. Like, if you would have shot, you're right, they would have shot your ass for that back yeah. in the day. If, if, if our forefathers who were living in America knew what was coming, they wouldn't believe it. Oh, <laughs> they wouldn't believe it. Oh, you travel back in time and tell them, they like, no. Like, you know, like a lot of Jakes yeah. was the original Cowboys, too. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. The prophets, when they saw visions of this shit, they, some of them got sick, man. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand because I get sick looking at it. It's damn right. Woke up the other day, yesterday, actually two days straight, feeling nausea, feel like throwing up for no reason, man. They talk about it's the land of the free. What's free here? It's free to be a fucking free. Yeah, that's it. Let's see you live with no money. <laughs> Let's see you go live with no money, see how free you are. <laughs> and people are always talking about they free, but ask them if they go hang out or we gonna go out to eat or something. Oh, I can't go out to eat. I don't have no free time. I got to work. <laughs> but I thought you was free. But you ain't got no free time, but you're free. Okay. That doesn't even make no sense. They say they're free, but they tell you they have no free time. <laughs> That's crazy. That doesn't make no sense. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Oh, yeah, loftily. <laughs> They use them fair words. Let me show you this uh -oh, that's some foolish shit to say that uh, oppression is, don't exist in America. Man. That's a fool that speaks that type of shit. They got these damn jobs, man. Here it is, you make them minimum wage for 8 15 8 30 Here it is, they make about they a million dollar company while your ass is getting $400 every two weeks, every week or so. You have to wait for that little check. Yeah, while they, while they live in living great. I'm not talking about the men, I'm talking about the ones that you know you got own like a McDonald's, a corporation. Franchise. Yeah, franchise. Yeah, franchise. There's a song that says, I work, you get the promotion. You know what I'm saying? I think, yeah, that's, that's some back up, that's some back up ass shit. You working all this shit, you get to be like 10 out, 10 Ten dollars an hour. You get your girl fucking hour to get ten dollars. While the motherfucker he just sits in a big ass tall ass building. You, and he's the brown noser becomes the manager. See the guy that works the hardest and never complains. They love guys like you because you're a hard worker and you never complain. So you're not gonna complain when they don't give you a raise. You're not gonna complain when they make you work extra hours. And they're gonna take advantage of you. Old old niggas, old y'all. Serious about the job, you know what I'm saying? Look at you, like, what you doing, man? It's work. It's crazy, going crazy, bro. 